Warning, this video contains new areas in Elden Ring, new weapons, new armor. If you don't want to spoil the game for yourself, click out of this video now. For the rest of you, let's seek the Elden Ring. All right, let's watch this. I've already watched it before, so there's a lot in this little gameplay preview. The narration, I'm pretty sure, is just Bandai Namco. It's not part of the game. There's tons of stuff in this. There's new armor, there's new locations, there's new weapons, new enemies shown off. It's really badass. This game looks amazing. A place of boundless scale. An untold mystery. I still want to know what those things are. To reveal the fabled Elden Ring unfolds. A lot of this is still just Limgrave. It's still just like the first area of the game, but they do show off some other areas. But it just shows you this game is going to be massive. Those who have inherited the blood of Queen Marika return. Someone you cannot wait to fight Millennia. I want her to stab me. Apparently they nerfed um, Margaret the Fell a little bit, or they adjusted him, is what they said. You play what the said. Of this the is the new area. I think this is the Badlands, the if I were to guess. From the lands Looks pretty awesome. I've seen this footage before. All of these hanging bodies, I'm gonna assume most of them are like those undead enemies that can fall down and they're just like skeletons that can um, attack you. Attack when the you. Elden Ring was shattered. The very source of the Erd Tree's blessing was disrupted. That's a boss arena Eventually, that we've seen before. Found I think we've seen this area before with the Game Informer footage. I offer you an accord. The music is so epic. As a time, I really hope this violin track is in the OST. The between, rich with mystery. This is cool. So I've never seen these enemies before. I don't think we have. They look like, like kind of give me Witch of Izalith vibes. With danger. Pumpkin head, seen him. Heroes. This is a cool look at this forest enemy here. I just looking at that, I'm like, I bet they're gonna suck. <laughs> That's a cool new enemy. That's like artillery for this area. Looks really neat. Big night boy enemies. We've seen that like lion boss before. The lands between comprises massive a lot more really spaces. cool views of Limgrave. Teaming with threats. This is interesting because this dragon, I remember in like the first gameplay preview, and I feel like it was the same area uh, where they showed the, like the second tree sentinel enemy, but instead this dragon spawns here. You'll face many fearsome enemies. Meet a wide variety of characters. Oh, pop boy. That looks like Gale 2.0. <laughs> is that Slave Knight Gale? Is he still here? Discover hidden dungeons. He wants the dark soul. Those who brave these catacombs, mines and caves, will find themselves adequately rewarded. Who wants to bet that you find the Moonlight Greatsword in one of those caves? Travel far enough, and you'll eventually reach I already love this soundtrack dungeon. so much. It just gets you so amped. A complex and intricately built dungeon map. There's gonna be a lot of gnarly shit in Stormvale Castle with all the graphing going on, like all the limbs hanging everywhere. You're gonna find some gnarly shit in this game. Creating a different feel from that of your journey through the overworld. They're basically saying that the legacy dungeons are gonna be where it's at. Like the side dungeons are cool, but the legacy dungeons are gonna be the shit. The like what you expect. And offer a high level of freedom for explorers. A lot of cool different looking biomes, Use which I appreciate. Like look how huge this map is. For places that catch your eye. Fast travel. Like, we only got, like, this small little section of Limgrave here. Not even this full part here. We only got, like, a small section of it. So this game is going to be points. massive. And I'm sure there's way more that we're just not seeing traversal. as well. Summon torrent, your trusty spectral steed. At any time, I can tell you from the CNT, areas. like, going in and Turn off of Torrent is really area. slick. Making it possible to venture further and higher into the lands between. The fast travel is really intuitive too, and it's like you can just get it right, like you have it right away. You'll meet with many characters. I've seen that MC before. And goals. I am the Lord of all that is. I can't wait for Godwick the Grafted to just wreck so many fools. That knight enemy looked like the other gold, like copper looking knight enemy. I don't know if this is an NPC or the player character in some new armor. Definitely looks like Loki there. Like right there. Like Loki armor? That's pretty rad. 
Your character could be fully customized. Yeah, like badass knight. There's a oh, lot of wicked armor attack. in this game already. Become a warrior. Specializing in close I find it interesting that they're using a lot of the player ca uh, characters from like the CNT version. Because they've changed a little bit. There's no Bloody Wolf class. There's no Enchanted Knight class. And the Prophet's changed up a little bit. This is neat. Awaiting to be discovered. Again, showing off all the new armors and stuff. In whatever way you wish. This enemy was from one of the first like uh, art screenshots that they showed. A keen adventurer may find item crafting useful. This assassin's got a cool bow. Looks like a little heart. Many different items can be crafted on the fly, from arrows and firebombs to cured meats and other consumables. That offer a range of benefits. This is a creepy looking enemy. We saw this in one of the first trailers, but it's like a closer look of it. I'm digging the vibes of this game so much. Like I love it when From Software goes like out there and creepy. Like it just, oh, I love it. them according to the situation is key. They really hype up the spirit summons. Dangerous situations. I wonder if they've tuned them or if they're still kind of OP. We'll have to see when the or actual game releases in a few days. You can also join with players from other worlds to journey, explore, and challenge tenacious. This gives me together. mad Lord of the Rings vibes. Like just seeing the footage of all the player characters co-op. This part right here. This part's epic. This is in the 30 second trailer. See, I can't tell if that is, if this is like a boss or if this, I think this is just like an enemy character, possibly a mini boss. We'll see. The expansive world of the lands between. Is this is a new enemy that they're showing off here. So this kind of reminds me of the big knights in the Ashes of Ariandel DLC or even like the Ring City, like those big boys that have like the galaxy heads. I'm terrible with names. I'll put them both up here. You tell me what you think. Or is this just some fat troll enemy with the big axe? Is abound with danger. Intrigue. That's and that lion enemy wrong. that we saw at Stormville Castle. New adventure. So is that a new weapon? There's two new weapons that I think we are seeing. So this one right here, I can't remember if we get this great sword in the network test, but uh, right here, these twin blades, I don't remember seeing these. So those are cool, like serrated, huge twin blades. Begin your adventure and reveal its secrets for yourself. This is a new Ash of War, like gravity. Rise, tarnish. This game looks Rise so sick. This game looks so Elden sick. Lord. Oh, I can't wait to play it. Look at that. Kirkhammer 2.0 right here. Look at that thing. Yeah, bring it on. Let's do this. I'm ready. Now, 